Jeff Harris. Hardcore rules come to the fair as B.J. Whitmer makes his UWF debut in this challenge bout against someone who we have seen a little bit of in UWF action thus far, Adam Flash. And, and Brad, I believe we got a special referee here in this match, don't we? We've got a very special referee. Earl Hebner could never pull off that outfit. The Gothic Goddess, the Scream Queen Daphne, joining us here at the fair. She's gonna try to maintain order between Whitmer and Flash. A little bit of history here, not so much personal history, but maybe where your allegiances lie. Ring of Honor, where B.J. Whitmer has been a favorite for a number of years, engaged in a violent Philadelphia wrestling war last year with CZW, which Adam Flash is a regular in. So these two paths maybe have never crossed necessarily, but you got to wonder if there's still some residual bad feelings from the Philadelphia wrestling war of 2006. As Flash thus far has been able to stay on top of Whitmer, Insane dive, but he, he didn't get much body-to-body -body contact off it. Enough to daze Whitmer. Well, that was some body contact right there with that steel post. As he dropped Whitmer uh, right between the legs there. Now he's going to follow it up with a punch. I guess this is hardcore rules, right, Brad? Anything goes? Absolutely. Daphne's only job really is to count three. Whitmer's gone under the ring and has found a kendo stick. And a trash can. He's putting the trash can over Whitmer's head and shoulders. Flash oh. strikes the trash can repeatedly. Talking about ringing a bell. Guarantee Whitmer's hearing some bells going off in his head right now. Asking Daphne to ask him. Looking maybe for, for Whitmer to say I quit, for Whitmer to give up. This is a crucial match, as really every match in the UWF is crucial because you want to earn your spot. You want to continue to get booked from month to month, from event to event. And a win will do a heck of a lot more than a loss. Well, we've got more weapons coming into play now, Brad. we got some kind of frying pan sheet just bent across the head of Adam Flash. The Maryland regular, Maryland Championship Wrestling regular Adam Flash is getting the baking sheet repeatedly in the forehead. And a pinfall attempt here on the floor. Brad, try to concentrate. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Is that a two? I think it was a two, Brad. Whitmer got a two count. Well, now we got a crutch. Who left that under the ring? Oh, God. I think it was the head of security, Brad. Whitmer, why is our security guard on the crutches? Been doing a fine job of security. Daphne trying to say we shouldn't be choking in this match. Not so much an infraction of the rules. Maybe Daphne is just trying to keep some sort of code of conduct that she's concocted in her head. Because it definitely is no infraction of the rules in this one because there are none. Whitmer got Flash now, drops him hard across the steel railing. This fan is almost becoming a part of the extra ultimate experience. This match has spent more time on the floor than it has in the ring, but they're going to try to bring it back inside the six-sided ring. And I think we're going to get some more weapons. Here comes a trash can in. Whitmer has got an incredible tolerance for pain and is now going to test the tolerance for pain of Adam Flash with that trash can. Cracks him in the skull again. Could be a KO. Flash is spread eagle on the canvas. Two and a half count by Daphne. Adam Flash able to kick out after taking that trash can to the head. Now he's going to, Whitmer going to set it up in the corner. Got to use that steel trash can to his advantage once again. Flash, look at these fighting back awful strong. Flash actually looked to be getting the upper hand on that exchange of punches and forearms. Whipper had to go to the eyes to halt the momentum. Big slam. Whipper loves to use the, rich, the wrist clutch exploder. 
as his patented hold has been known to even do it off the ropes for added impact. Here comes another kendo stick. Man, those things are made out of bamboo, but they're they're taped together tightly with some fabric so that it allows it to bend and sting you so hard with each and every swing. Whitmer saying that there's going to be some more dished out. Puts the kendo stick right between the eyes. Another two count. Daphne thus far has been very consistent, very competent as an official. As we alluded to, not much more to do other than count. You certainly don't have to worry about breaking up any elaborate wrestling holds. Trash can posted in the corner and Flash got posted to the trash can. Whitmer now gonna lackadaisical like a days ago pin there, just standing noni. I don't, you're, I'm, I don't think that I've ever seen too many people able to pull off a pinball by just standing on your pin. Andre the Giant, yes. B.J. Whitmore, I don't think so. You don't have to cover a guy harder than that after beating him up with a trash can. I mean, Adam Flash is a, is a credible competitor. Adam Flash has held championships all over the country. I gotta agree with you, the foot to the chest not necessarily going to get it done. I mean, this is not one of the Mulkies or George South that you're in there with. It's going to take more than the foot on the chest. Flash now oh, no. has unearthed a ladder from underneath the ring. Almost struck our official. She wanted no part of it. You can hear the fans squealing in delight at the possibilities of how this ladder could come into play. Oh, man. You talk about some pain. Adam Flash just spun that ladder right to the face of Whitmore. Now he's going to throw it on him. Interesting move. Like you said, he basically executed a wrestling hold on the ladder onto Whitmer, who was laying on the canvas. You hear the sound of all the objects that these two have pulled out from underneath the ring crashing against the ring in the floor flash now has got a table in play one more object it's that wooden table sliding into the ring you can hear the fans we want a table well they've got one flash definitely has intentions of uh, sending Whitmer right through that table but here we're gonna fight out into the fair I don't know that the, the fair officials are looking for this. Pile driver, good grief. Out, out onto the staging area for a pinfall. After that pile driver, somehow Whitmer able to kick out. I don't think he was able to deliver that pile driver exactly the way you would want to. It looked like it was a little, a little shaky there. I'm not able to drop him completely on his head because normally you you catch a pile driver executed perfectly, it's going to be a three count. On any terrain, but especially outside the confines of the room. Whitmer still looks to be in bad shape, though. It definitely stunned him, but why is Flash not going for the cover? Flash wants to set the table up. Presumably hoping to end it with an exclamation point. Well, we've got a table now ready ready for action in the middle of the ring. Adam Flash and Whitmer now going blow, blow for blow here, punching each other. That setting up the table gave Whitmer a chance to catch his breath, and now it looks like Flash is going to be put on the table. Whitmer looking around. He's taking a lot of time, Brad. This is not, not likely to be... A good scene for him coming up. BJ's reputation is not as a high flyer. And just as you said, was taking too long. Flash caught him. Flash pulling him back off the top rope. Trying to, put, trying to position Whitmer. He's going to lift him up for a suplex. And, oh, brain buster. Right beside the table. I thought he was going to brain buster him right through that table. Maybe he feels 
being in there that Whitmer is not adequately worn down. Whitmer finally on the table, and Flash now stands poised to be one high impact move away from winning this contest. On the top, gorgeous leg drop right through the table. Whitmer broken in half. And Daphne counts the three. Adam Flash victorious in hardcore rules action.